And so at this point now we have Moodle downloaded or uploaded, excuse me, to the server into the downloads directory and unzipped and the zip file has been deleted. So as you can see the file is now sitting here and what we are going to do is we're going to copy and paste that directory into the web directory where the web server is uh, pulling files from. So I'll select copy from here, go down to var and www and in fact I've already copied it down here you just uh, select on the web directory here and then you just select paste and it pastes the folder into here and we can just make sure that we've got everything in there and as you can see that is the entire Moodle directory so that has now been copied and pasted down the uh, other thing that we have to do is we have to create another folder to store uploaded images, pictures, things of that nature. And so we're going to create a new folder under www. And the new directory we're going to create here, we're going to call it Moodle Data. So we have that directory here. Now, in that directory, what we're going to do, I'm going to select the info button. Did you see that? Really quick, I did that kind of fast. So I have Moodle data selected here, and I'm going to collect info. And what we want to do is we want to change this so that uh, very few people have access to this uh, site, to this server, to this folder, excuse me. And uh, it's getting late, I'm sorry. The ownership for this is we're going to set it as www data. The same as the group. And we're going to uh, leave read access here. Actually, what we want to do is we want to set this as 0770 here, so we've got to get this set up. We want to give nobody rights here. And we want to give the user and group full read, write, and list rights here, so that this octal value right here is 0770. Once that is set, we're going to apply that only to this directory. We're going to save this. We should see that the user and group information has now been updated. So now we are actually ready to begin the actual configuration and installation of Moodle.